Thursday's Pets on 2 is sponsored by Cruise Subaru. Welcome back to News 2 Midday. Well, all the stories we read before the break were all Halloween related, and Will Howell clearly took that to heart. Brought us in really a Halloween cat from Pet Helpers today. The name is Magic. And tell us about, we've got the crystal ball eye, so to speak, going on here. I mean, a really unique kitty. Yeah, no, Magic really is something. He's got a great story, too. As you can see, he's got that blue cloudy eye. Um, so he's completely blind in his left eye. He, that's the way he came to us after being found at a car wash in a box that with a note that said, please help my cat. Um, he's completely blind there, and we're currently doing some work to see if we can save that eye without having to remove it. Um, but all in all, he is just so He's incredibly so sweet and loves being held, loves to be uh, loved on. But he's the perfect spooky little black cat for the Halloween season. Yes, I love it. So if you are trying to get into the Halloween spirit, what better way than to welcome a family member into your home that's spooky like Magic the Cat? Now, tell me what else is going on. I've been seeing on social media <laughs> some fun pics you've been putting together that are the uh, sort of high school portraits. Yes, yes. So we're in homecoming season right now. So we did a homecoming portrait session. Uh, with some 80s style Sears it's photographs. It was really fun to put together. And if you just go to our Instagram or our Facebook, we're Pet Helpers SC on Instagram, you can check out all of those. It was a lot of fun, and we're just trying to do what we can to get them adopted out. Uh, P Bear, who was one of the dogs who was a part of that session, both him and Percy were adopted out shortly after oh, this. So we're glad to see that's working, and we're just trying to have as much fun as we can to find Absolutely. homes for animals. So it's still the best mode of action to go on your website, see what's there, and then make an appointment to come in? Yes, okay. and actually we're coming up on October 10th. We're going to be reopening for walk-in cat and kitten no adoptions. Way. So coming October 10th, you can walk in and meet Magic yourself if okay, he's still around. Okay, that is very exciting. Um, we're really, awesome. really excited for that. Um, we were struggling with staffing before, and so as a part of COVID measures, we were um, temporarily moving all adoptions to appointment, but now we're able to have enough cat staff in there to actually be able to support that and get the word out about all of these animals because one of the best things is going to pet helpers and walking through our cat land. Yes, and I know that you have a soft spot for the cats especially, but if you haven't been to pet helpers, they have the free roaming room, so you get to see their personalities. Mm -hmm. You can check out. Now, I have to ask about my favorite cat from pet helpers, the big white one. Angel. Is he gone? Is oh, he Angel there? is still there. Yes, no, Angel is an amazing cat. He's our greeter cat. He's been there longer than any of the other cats. He's in our first room, and I'm telling you, come October 10th, you have got to come yes, meet him. You gotta check out Angel. He is larger than life in every way. Huge <laughs> personality, cat. huge cat. <laughs> well, Will, thank you so much. And if you're listening to this and you want a cat, check out Angel online because that cat, seriously, make, make me a cat person. But here's